Good morning guys, so the new adventure begins. I'm off to Vilnius today where I'm gonna sleep the night and early in the morning, like at 5 in the morning I already have to be at the airport in Vilnius. And I will be off to the south of France, to Nice, Cannes and um, Aix. Um, I'm going there with Bioderma, as you might know. Simona Burbeta is going with me and also someone else that I don't know personally. And yeah, I'm ready to go. The weather outside is absolutely horrendous. It's been pouring down with rain non-stop. I'm having some porridge with uh, peanut butter, cinnamon, cashew nuts, coconut butter and uh, some bananas. It's really yummy and very filling as well. And I'm having a cup of coffee with milk from my new favorite mug that I got in Riga. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? And I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube. So obviously I do not fit in a carry-on luggage for three days. Here's all of my stuff and um, yeah, it wasn't possible. So because my luggage um, that I took with me to Thailand, the red Samsonite looks like an atomic bomb exploded on it. I went and got a new luggage today. It's by Travel House uh, and it was 20% off. So that's great and I got the last one. I love it. It's gold and white. It's huge actually. But that's that's good. I needed a big luggage. I'll be staying there three days. So <laughs> you might think, what the hell? Why are you taking this massive luggage? But I just need to take so many things, like outfit for you know for occasion, then casual wear, then all my cameras and chargers, beauty products, and. I ended up not fitting in my carry-on. So that's my travel outfit of the day and <laughs> although it's raining r like crazy, that's not the outfit for a rainy day but I'll spend most of the time in the bus so it doesn't matter. I have my grey jumper from Zara and this long coat again. It's from Lindex. I'm wearing my Forever 21 leggings, my silver Zara bag and my favorite shoes <laughs> that I wear all the time. Um, they're from Stradivarius. Then the scarf, I think it's from Choice, but I'm not too sure. I really like it. It goes with the color combo. So yeah, off I go. So guys, I'm in Vilnius finally. Um, it stopped raining, so I'm really glad about that. And I'm staying at Comfort Hotel, which is like a super cool I don't know, like modern hipster kind of hotel and um, I will meet a person from Bioderma at 5 I have half an hour to apply my makeup because I obviously have nothing on my face Anyhow, I kinda wanna go out, I wanna go to Lush to get some bath bombs maybe and go somewhere to eat afterwards Look at my mess, of, like, it's just like half of my height Look at that, Michael Jackson, it's a very rock and roll hotel Louis Armstrong, <laughs> that's so cool. My room is 531 and it's really cool because it's super close to the bus station. It's like, I don't know, maybe not even one kilometer. I'm in my room. That's David Guetta, I guess. Is it? No, I don't know what it is. Anyway, so yeah, that's my room, really lovely. <laughs> Look, you enter in the music store. Welcome to Help Comfort Hotel. Oh, look, that's such a nice bathroom. There is no half singing in the shower. You are either a rock star or an opera diva. <laughs> Here's the shower, look. Such a nice shower. So yeah, anyway, as I said, I'm gonna put the makeup on really quickly and I'll go to the lobby for coffee. You actually get coffee for free here and there's a gym um, as well, so we can work out. Not that I will. Guys, you won't guess what happened. It's not even funny anymore. I left my laptop at the lobby, at the reception desk. When I checked in at the hotel, I put it on, I left it there. Came tomorrow and I'm like, where's my laptop? What the hell? It's like I'm not focused or something? Or maybe because it's a stupid black case, I don't see it? I don't know what's wrong with me. I guess it's just all the throttling, all the thinking. So I'm totally ready now. Applied a bit of makeup, used quite a lot of bronzer. And I curled my hair with my Bombay curling wand, just a little bit. So I used my Rosy for Autograph eyeshadow palette. I only used this peachy pink color and then the, the champagne one in the inner corner. 
I use Lancome, Hypnose, Volume Aporte, Mascara, my Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation, Kevin O'Quan um, Candlelight Highlighter, Rosie's Loose Powder to set my makeup, um, Lancome Softening, Long Lasting Softening Concealer for my under eyes, Anastasia Brow Wiz on my eyebrows, MAC Concealer on my blemishes, um, L'Oreal Brow Plumper to set my brows in place, and then uh, Clarins Instant Light Lip Balm Perfector in number 6. That's actually, oh no, and this um, bronzer, which is my new Givenchy Le Saison bronzer in number 2. It's like very glowy and very golden. Gives you a gorgeous glow. So that's all I have on my face. That's quite a lot of makeup actually, but it doesn't feel like a lot. I don't know, maybe because I'm not wearing dark eyeshadow and eyeliner. It looks quite fresh. Um, yeah, I've got my skincare laid down. Most of it Bioderma. I'm traveling with Bioderma and because these are my genuine products that I generally use, I only bought this for traveling, for taking my makeup off. I applied some Moroccan oil on my hair. I love this stuff, I just got it. Oh, and then I sprayed some Institute Estoderm cellular water on my skin to take the matte effect of the powder away because I don't want a very matte skin. I like a bit of dewiness and glow. And uh, I guess I will see you later when I'll go out to grab some food. Yeah, Bioderma is releasing a new product, so they asked me to test it out and like um, evaluate my experience with the product. So I'm gonna give this to the girl. Okay, so my driver will be here in three minutes. I'm gonna go to Panorama Shopping Center. And now I'm gonna grab some coffee before I go. It's free coffee here. Amazing. So I bought a soap at Lush and now I'm at Fit Food Place where they have organic stuff. And look, they even have Hurale bombs. That's amazing. So guys, I met a subscriber of mine because I didn't want to eat alone and she came and joined me instead of studying for exams. <laughs> Not and uh, we came to this place, Manami. I, I tried pad thai in Clay, but then this place was horrible, but we will have some sushi today. And she can say hi to my viewers. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So that's our food. I'm not sure about the green caviar on my sushi, but we'll try. We'll try. So, good meal. Why is the music not playing? That's strange. Um, oh yeah, here it is. That's crazy. Um, so it was really nice meeting a subscriber of mine and having some sushi with her. And I think that's one of the perks of being on YouTube because it connects people. Like you can be in any country of the world really. There will be at least one person who watches your videos and like you can meet up for coffee or lunch or whatever. And that's amazing. So I just posted on Instagram that I'm, I didn't plan a meetup or anything. I just thought, well, I don't want to eat alone. Like I, I, there are lots of people who watch me from Vilnius. Um, so one of the girls came to meet me. So hi, if you are watching. I'm gonna show you everything I got. I got a bottle of water. I got a rhubarb, this is uh, chia and coconut, just, you know, from munching on, on the plane. I got a banana, because actually I have to wake up at 4 in the morning and be at the airport a little bit before 5, so, you know, I want to be able to have any breakfast. And then, this is, I'm going to show you a soap I got from Lush. I always loved the scent of this soap, and I haven't tried any of the Lush soaps. I like the smell of the honey one. Honey, I wash the kids. But I got this one. Oh my god, guys. This scent is just incredible. I think it's called Maple. Oh my god, I love it. It smells so interesting. It smells like sweets. Like... The kind of sweets that you... It smells of childhood. Then the middle smells minty. So it's like sweet and minty. I honestly want to eat it. I think this is the most beautiful smelling Lush soap ever. Oh my god. It smells amazing. So I cannot wait to use it. Um, 
and then I got a Clinique product I went into Douglas I saw this Clinique chubby stick on sale like they had uh, you know like a stand with some discounted makeup products and I saw this Clinique chubby stick this is my all-time favorite one you guys might remember I used to rave about this non-stop whole lot of honey I actually don't see it in clay pad anymore and it frustrates me because I've used mine up and I cannot repurchase it this is such an amazing color it's quite sheer but very moisturizing and stays on your lips for a very long time and then it kind of stains them it's just a beautiful brownish kind of natural looking color oh, I love it so much and I asked the girl why is it discounted is it getting discontinued and she said I don't know it, it might be because it was, you know, the only color discounted. So why do companies have to always do that? They always discontinue my favorite makeup products. Like this Chubby Steak, like, is one of my top five lip products. So I purchased that. It was 13 euros. Um, so, you know, not a big discount. But I grabbed, actually bought the last one that they had in the store. So I'm really happy about that. I think I'm just gonna go and take my makeup off. And I really want to wash my hair because, I don't know, I'm having a bad hair day today. It's super frizzy, although I use this Moroccan oil. And I think it's because I blow dry, like very roughly blow dried my hair in the morning. And because of the heat, it got really like dry and frizzy. So I just want to wash it. It's going to dry overnight. And then when I wake up at 4 in the morning, I'm going to... if. I feel awake enough to curl my hair, I'm gonna curl it. I don't even know why I vlogged today because it's such a boring vlog, literally. I did nothing, just traveling. I totally forgot that I didn't paint my nails. It's Tom Ford in Toasted Sugar, my favorite nude nail polish. And it's super long lasting, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Mm -hmm. 